If you ever find yourself in this position, you know that in every aspect you're doing the best possible thing as a team for your child. Ah! Whoa! Cheers, boo boo. Cheers. Are you guys win? She loves asparagus. Okay. I'm making more asparagus. And in a way, it's amazing, but it's something I didn't think about at the beginning of my journey. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to a video I have been putting off making, but I am so excited to make my co-parenting video because I am perfect and I make no mistakes and do everything perfect the first time. <laughs> no, I am human and I am walking the line of co-parenting, which is one of the most difficult but rewarding things you can do for your child and if you're watching this then maybe you are going through the same things that I have been experiencing the past year or maybe you might think you will go through this one day and you want to know the real honest truth of what it is like to co-parent with a baby a toddler what that looks like I, I, I really just want you to know that you are not alone on this journey a co-parenting dynamic is gonna look different for every family every team there are an endless amount of factors that you have to take into consideration that is going to make your experience different to mine are you breastfeeding the age of the child schedules routines it's a lot I'm not gonna lie so I really want to share my experience, my advice, my tips, all of the ways I found to make this a positive experience. And I'll tell you, it is a journey. There is a lot to this. So there's gonna be different sections of this video. Let's hop into my tips first. Just realized I hopped into this without introducing myself. I kind of went into it assuming most know my journey, but if you are new here and just found me from this co-parenting video, hi, my name is Brittany. I divorced my daughter's father amicably, amicably, you know what I'm trying to say, in January 2021. It is now April 2022, so it's been 14 months, almost 15 months. Our daughter was six months old at the time, so very much so just out of the newborn stage, still breastfeeding, which put a very unique dynamic to the co-parenting experience because, you know, with breastfeeding and pumping and all that, the, the timing can be difficult. My first tip here is the second you and your child's father decide to separate, break up, divorce, whatever your status was, as soon as possible, switch from, you know, the relationship to this new co-parenting relationship. I will admit it is such a unique experience to break up with someone and then within five minutes be like, I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. You need to put on your co-parenting hat as soon as possible and communicate routine and structure and what you both need to thrive to have your child thrive it definitely does get easier and better over time and so if you are in this position and you're feeling lost it is totally normal but just continue to prioritize figuring out a solution as soon as possible and a way to communicate positively my second big tip is you two are now a team for your child. Not only do you need to communicate positively between each other, but it will make your life so much easier if you also continuously communicate positively about your partner to everybody else in your life because you're going to have to have an ongoing relationship with your teammate for you know, people say 18 years, but really it's forever. There are gonna be some people in your life that understand this 
and if you talk negatively at all even small about the end of the relationship or the co-parenting experience you want your friends and family on a united front of positivity and so it's a unique thing to go through because normally when you end a relationship you you vent you do your thing and in this unique situation you just got to keep keep it positive there is only one time i would say to not do this and of course like i said every co-parenting relationship is going to be so unique and there's going to be different hurdles and factors that are going to probably change your situation and this advice for you i would say to not follow this one rule if you experience any physical or emotional abuse violence to yourself or your child for this i would unite your friends and family in the know to support you on this journey and they need to know the full complete situation because that is that is a totally different ball game and so ignore tip number two if you are dealing with that tip number three is going to sound a bit like tip number two but it is not just having the team be the two parents but also the extended family extended friends you want to have a strong village for your child and so mending any of those relationships or nurturing any of those relationships and i see it as such an asset if the families can get along do events together and and i know there's so many different chess pieces in this that it might not work for everybody's situation but to the best of your ability to have a strong village for everybody. Number four can be really tricky for people to understand who are not in a co-parenting relationship, but this is something I call the ebb and flow technique. We work really hard on having a consistent schedule for our daughter because I think having that, even though she's young now to fully understand it, as she gets older, having a consistent place of where she knows she's going and what time and what days i know this type of routine will really help her thrive but in our personal unique situation sometimes somebody has to ebb and flow a little bit more so somebody gets work that pops up somebody's schedule has to change and with my work being a little bit more flexible i feel like sometimes i have to ebb and flow a little bit more but with that being said my partner in co-parenting does realize that there will be days that he needs to ebb and flow a little bit more and so we do have a little bit of a dance going on with our co-parenting relationship and sometimes i do need to cancel plans. but this isn't a one-sided street while as the mom with a flexible schedule i you know i do feel like it can happen more for me but my partner does understand that and will ebb and flow when i need it i found this to be very difficult to explain to people that are not in the co-parenting situation or to be honest in my exact situation so there are going to be things that happen in your life and your co-parenting relationship that other people are just not going to understand and they're going to think you're a pushover or you know any any other possible critique and you just have to hold strong to you know you're doing what is right even if it doesn't make direct sense to other people and you kind of have to live with being okay with that <laughs> number five communicate 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 it was definitely a lot more in the earlier stages when you know from six months to a year there are so many transitions with introducing solids and nap schedules and routines and diaper sizes constantly changing clothing sizes constantly changing honestly we were communicating pretty much every day or every other day about something in regards to her schedule so we could be on the same page and she could have the same environment and the dynamic in both households so i would buy something here i would send her father a link and he would get it and so I felt like that helped her easily go from house to house and thrive in both environments. So trying to keep things as similar as possible and babies and toddlers change so much. And so you really, really need that communication there. Number six, you're going to make mistakes and that is okay. 
you're gonna learn from these mistakes. Pretty much all these tips I've given you, I learned them from making mistakes. You are not gonna walk into this perfectly, your partner is not gonna walk into this perfectly, but you have to try every day to be a little bit better. And I promise you one day you will get to a point and it doesn't matter how long it takes you as long as both teammates are working as hard as they can to make this work and you'll get to a good space where right now we have good communication, we have a good routine, we are teammates rooting for the same little human. Don't get me wrong, I know there are going to be a thousand other hurdles over the next lifetime that we are going to have to work through but I know that we have the skills now to get there which is a really good feeling it is not an overnight thing we worked on this every single day and it is now 14 months later for us to get to this good place for me to make this video one of the best things I can tell a parent who is co-parenting is the time you do not have your child which is right now for me is keep yourself busy and productive busy of course you should you know have some selfish time have some time to chill have some social time time with friends getting out of the house but at least for me doing things that are productive and out of the house that aren't necessarily fun like right now i'm gonna go get gas at a car wash makes me feel good and not focus on the fact that i'm not with my favorite human in the entire world All right, one thing down. Now I need to find a car wash place because I actually have never had a car wash since I got my car, except for at the Grove, at the valet. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But on another positive note, when I will, you know, get my time back with my daughter, which will be in three and a half hours I will appreciate it so much more because you can definitely get to the mom point where you're so burnt out and so spent that you can't that you just feel like you can't enjoy it and so having this time to miss her while it's super lonely I then appreciate the full-on time that I have with her and so a positive and a negative in one holy cow this donut's good get these from Trader Joe's the guy when I was checking out told me put them in the oven for a few minutes and it will change your life I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that you know there is something really rewarding about doing everything on your own like everything within my home i've carried in i've carried out it is all my doing and you know it's really nice having the space exactly how you like it so i see that as a positive but it can be a lot because if you don't do it it doesn't get done I did go to Trader Joe's hungry, if we can't tell. Okay, recycling and trash time. One of the questions I get the most, especially for moms who are starting their co-parenting journey is, does it get easier to be away from your child? And the answer is, is no. For me, it has got harder i'm in her nursery right now which i try to not go into when i don't have her and let me explain why i say it's gotten harder and everyone's journey will be different but 
you know, my daughter was very young when we started this. I was breastfeeding and like little things, like we came to an agreement, the parents, uh, we weren't gonna do no overnight until I weaned from breastfeeding. We just thought that would be easiest on her. And so the, the time apart when she was younger and I was also so tired and so overwhelmed that I think mentally I was so drained that the time apart was definitely really, really hard in the beginning. But then it got to not an easy part, but I was in a good groove where I appreciated the time. And as she's gotten older, you know, the time she gets to spend with her father is more. And I am so appreciative of that. And they have such a great relationship. And that makes me so happy. But <laughs> the more older she's gotten, the more time apart, the more she understands, the more I'm mentally doing better. And the more we have a routine going at home, it's, it's harder, it's harder. And, and I don't want this to deter anyone on their journey, but I have to be honest about how it's been for me. And this whole journey is, you know, up and down. And I'm sure there'll be times that it gets easier again, but It is, it's really, it's really hard. And I don't want to lie about that. Um, on, a, on a positive, I think that we all went through this when she was so young, that this is her normal and she's adjusted really well. I think this process has only got easier for her and that makes me so happy. But selfishly, you know, you always want your baby with you. With everything in life, I feel like there's yin and yang and they work in harmony and you can't have one without the other and sometimes it's a negative and a positive. Like when you are a single mom or a co-parent or whatever word you want to use, you get a lot of quality time with your child and that is so beautiful. You get like such a beautiful bond you are there for a lot and it is it is so beautiful but with that being said you are there for everything alone like obviously you communicate with your partner and first steps for sitting up first words that can be communicated but you see all of these milestones and firsts alone and i think that's a really hard thing i don't really hear people who co-parent talk about you are there for the hard times it's hard to go through you know teething and sleep regressions all by yourself but it's just as hard to go through those first steps and first words by yourself celebrate in that moment like just the two of you and in and in a way it's amazing but it's something I didn't think about. It's like seeing the most beautiful night sky and a shooting star goes by and you get to cherish that moment, just you. And in that, it's so lovely, but you can't help but think experiencing that with somebody, that beauty would be All better. Right. I stopped <laughs> crying. I put on glasses because my makeup did not hold up throughout <laughs> that last chat. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, give this video a like so I know to make more of like, it's kind of like a day in the life with like advice on certain subjects <laughs> or do you like more a sit down video and then like a vlog. But right now I'm going to run to a co-parenting dinner. I'm going to go grab Arrow after the dinner, but we are doing it with Arrow's father and his whole family. We try to do this every so often routinely. Uh, 
I just think it's like the best thing to do in like a co-parenting relationship is having the child see all of the families get along, talk, communicate. Don't feel bad if you are not at this point within your co-parenting relationship. By any means, it's a journey. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna tr take my camera and see if I can vlog it because it would totally fit in this like co-parenting video. But if it's not the vibe, then this video is gonna end abruptly. If it is the vibe, it's gonna start right now. You guys are actually twins right now. Wait, get her to face towards. Look. Arrow! Arrow, Arrow look, look at mommy! Look. Are you guys twins? Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Probably sprinkle. I brought the mold on out. I'd probably sprinkle mm. a little bit on there. I think it's a little under seasoned. Mm. I want to taste it first. Ooh, that oh. looks good. She loves asparagus. Okay. I'll make you more asparagus. Cheers. Cheers, boo boo. Cheers. Cheers. Good job. <laughs> We just got back from gym class. If I look a little disheveled, that's why I wanted to give my little hack to end this video. Uh, so this is what I always get. It's a strawberry SIE refresher with lemonade. And then I get a tall water for her and I just have them put the strawberries in it. So that's what makes it pink. And she thinks she's having a, I mean, she is, she's having a big girl drink. So cheers. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Give it a like, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Yes. Bye! Look into each other's eyes. Tired snowflakes are coming down. Collapse into water when they hit the ground. I hear the sound of empty streets.